Hey everybody, it's Wayne D. Welcome to the website. I know everybody loves the great old players and the swings that they use. So I'm going to take the first great American triumvirate of Bobby Jones, Gene Sarazen, and Walter Hagen and just play the swings that I have of theirs and I'll make one or two comments but but this is not a swing analysis it's just so you guys can have these swings so one thing you'll see that's pretty common is the drag takeaway and you see the shaft bending backwards you also see the width and the right loading and you also see the left knee coming in, free hip turn, big heel lift, long swing. Great hip movement in a downswing. Hagen won 11 majors, won two U.S. Opens, four British Opens, and five PGAs. And the only reason he didn't win the Masters is... I think by 1934 or 5 when they started the Masters, he wasn't really playing much anymore. Hagen was a great showman and probably did more for professional golf, taking it from the ranks of being you know the amateur players they wouldn't even the cl country clubs wouldn't even let the pros come into the clubhouse until Hagen came along the right foot Hagen you're going to see some deep hips check that right foot out a little knockdown shot Hagen had some great matches with Sarah's and So next in the big three is Bobby Jones, and what a neat swing he had. So once again, the, the drag takeaway, you can see the shaft bend. This is probably one of the biggest hip turns of any great player. Took the club well in and around him. So the right arm stayed pretty close, but it got very, very deep. And then if you want to look at Jones... You know, Hogan said his secret was cupping his wrist. Well, he just could have watched Jones. Jones cups his wrist and keeps it cupped in the transition. Take a look. So there's a hickory shaft for you. See the club stick on the ground, the hands go back, there's the drag. Um, great view of the hips here. So 
so uh, you try hitting it from there. So you know the hands are going out with this backswing. Now this is a great picture because you can see how the wrist up here stays cupped and how he closes it down. Again this is stuff Hogan wrote about but other guys of course did. If you look at Jones's head, of course it was much lower. There are people that say the key to being a good ball striker is a free hip turn, but I'm telling you, the guys that you're looking at that had these huge hip turns and turned out to be great ball strikers are better athletes and more talented players than guys that would have less of that going on, if you ask me. Alright, so if we go to Sarazen, he's the guy that's probably got the least amount of swings available, but we got a few. This is a good one. I think I got a couple of views of this one. Now he's a little guy, a little short guy, kind of reminds you of Ian Woosnam type guy. That's pretty m much more compact. But if you want to see a sidearm motion, how about that? So Sarazen, let's play this through. Sarazen won seven majors, two U.S. Opens, three PGAs, one British, and one Masters. He was the first man to win all four of the majors. This is later in Saracen's life here. 
And once again, pretty common. See the shaft flattening, hands come out. shot <laughs> now I don't have to tell you what this is he's hitting the ball those are black guys this is just a great example of racism <laughs> terrible sorry I even had that on here alright there you go so the first great triumvirate. Next I'm going to get to Nelson, Sneed, and Hogan.